everybody, and welcome to the first bowl edition of Pro Line. It's that time of year. College football regular season is done. There's just one game this weekend as Army and Navy put the wraps on that. Then Navy goes on to play their bowl game in Army. Uh, well, I don't know what they do once the season ends, but they just do what they, they always do because they never get to a bowl game. So uh, we're not going to look at that game, but we are going to look at a couple of the bowls. And we're going to get you uh, what we think is some decent advice for those who are going to be looking to handicap these games themselves. Before we do any of that, uh, let's get everybody caught up on what's happening in terms of uh, specials. And we'll start with you, John. Uh, John Creighton is here for Jim Feist uh, this weekend, as far as the colleges are concerned. Jim has uh, he's been running really good in the NFL all season long. Uh, and he's, uh, he's got some big stuff coming up this weekend, including a bowl package plus an NFL bonus. That's right. Yeah, he's a three and one college football Saturday. He's on a twenty one and nine NFL run, despite losing that Steelers as game of the year Sunday. Very disappointing. But the uh, bowl bowl package is coming up. You can get an early bird bowl special. Now Jim's bowl package, all the bowls through January, one hundred ninety nine bucks online. However, you can get them all for twenty nine bucks if you sign up early. Plus, you get a bonus play his NFL through Monday night. All this for twenty nine bucks with Jim one eight six six eight four one sixteen fifty five. All right, I'll try and make this. A lot less long-winded than it than it could be. Uh, the bowls have been kind of a specialty for me over the years. Now I haven't. I'm not going to tell you I've cleaned up every single year of the bowls, but you'll be hard pressed to find a year where I haven't done really well. And uh, you know, I mean, there were a couple of games last year that I'm still pissed off about. Uh, one of them is the Cincinnati Duke game, which I think could be the worst bat, worst beat I've ever taken. That was on a big play. On Duke plus the points in the Belt Bowl, if you remember that. Uh, so that one hurt. But still, by and large, just crushed it in the Bulls again last year. Um, and I love the matchups this year. And, and, you know, some years they really come up, eh, you boy, I don't know. We're going to have to pick and choose. There's a lot of games this year that really look good. I've got five games alone that fit a stat profile that I do. And uh, I'll be on all those games be on the underdog at all those games. Uh, there'll be some favorites I like as well. I've already gotten some pretty good information on one team that, well, let's just say it looks like they're kind of just going through the motions. they got a bull bid, but I wouldn't think they're going to play very well. So that's a favorite that I'm going to be playing. I, between the handicapping skills and the information, and this is where being in the media for all these years has kind of helped because I've got a lot of good contacts. Uh, this is the time of year where I usually do the best work in college football. Not that there's anything wrong with my early stuff. And I've had a good year in college football, but this is usually where I close with a bang. Now my bowl special online, right now I've got the early bird online special for 49 bucks. That goes up to 99 the first of the week. I'm going to beat that too with this pro line special. $25, you get the bowl package. Now the bowl package is not just selected bowls. You're going to get a play on every single bowl game. It might be a strong play. It might be a short call where we're not, you know, we're not real confident. But you're going to get a bowl play on every single game. That's 35 plays right there. You're also going to get included among them those my bowl game of the year. Well, you know that's going to be a strong play, and it's something that's won almost every year. All that plus, I've got a five-play college basketball countdown on Saturday. That's included as well. $25 for everything. This is a pro-line only special. You will not find this advertised online. I'm not going to mention it in my blog or anyplace else. $25, one 896 1629 It's real simple. And I, if it sounds like I'm throwing hype out there, well, so be it. It's legitimate. one 896 1629 You make the call, you're going to make some money. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right, let's get to some games. Actually, before we do that, let's get some tips for betters on college bowl games. John, go ahead. Let me uh, let me hear some good stuff from you. Sure, for bowl betting tips, I'm going to take a look at injuries, suspensions, and coaching changes, basically things that happen off the field uh, that can be important. I mean, one of the problems is teams that have injuries or suspensions leading up to the bowl games because there's a long wait between these games. In addition, players get in trouble before these postseason games. They can get suspended and so forth. Uh, in 2008, uh, Oklahoma star running back DeMarco Murray was ruled out of the BCS championship game against uh, Florida State. They were a five-point underdog. Oklahoma was lost the game 24. 
24 to 14 without their star back. Uh, for the upcoming bowl games, Oregon, for the Alamo Bowl, they suspended their starting tight end in Farrell Brown. Now, he's not a huge player, 10 catches, two touchdowns, but he is a starter. I also have to wonder about uh, the motivation for this Oregon team. I mean, the last four games, 2-2 two and two straight up, 0-4 oh against the spread. Stanford smoked them on defense. Arizona blew them out 42-16. to 16. And even the last game, they were 24-point favorites over Oregon State and were lucky to win the game by a point. And then coaches, too, can leave the programs or assistants can leave that Alamo Bowl that Oregon's going to be playing in. Well, they're playing Texas. We heard about the Max Brown resignations. Do the players want to play for him, give him a a, a going-away present, or is it going to be an assistant uh, stepping in? Uh, Bowling Green, uh, Dave Clawson, he left. Uh, to go to Wake Forest, and they're going to be playing Pitt in the Little Caesars Bowl. Boise State, they lost Chris Peterson, the head coach. He's going to Washington. That team will be in the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, Brian Harson, he left Arkansas State. They're going to be in the GoDaddy Bowl for Boise. And then USC, a team that we're going to be looking up later, they've, they'll be working on their third coach now for the season. So, you know, how does that affect the team? How many assistants does that coach bring with them? Overall, I'd say it's generally speaking a negative influence because you got a cohesive, stable team that works together all year to, to have a winning season, get to a bowl, and all of a sudden, boom, the t- coach is going to leave, maybe some assistance. That affects strategy and certainly brings emotion into play. But that's something, Dave, that you really have to look for off the field before assessing each bowl game. All right, John, I'm going to talk about distance being a major factor uh, in bowl games. In, in uh you know, there's no hard and fast rule on this because there are going to be exceptions, certainly. So you can't just blindly bet it. I think you have to examine each game individually. But uh, what I'm looking to do is play against teams that are on vacation as opposed to teams that maybe are going to be treating it more like a regular season football game. Teams that are staying at home for the Bulls, it's generally more of a work atmosphere. Whereas teams that are traveling great distances, it literally is a vacation. And sometimes you see these t- teams uh, just not physic- or just not mentally sharp, just not mentally focused. It's sometimes not even distance. I mean, that's why I have to try and gauge and get as much information as possible on, as, as to how teams are preparing, how much partying is going on, things like that. I'll give you an example. The Las Vegas Bowl a few years ago, uh, Arizona State, uh, Boise. State. And Boise State came here to play football. The Arizona State players, they're partying all week. They're at Caesars Palace every night, uh, drinking at the bar. And uh, this was the easiest bet on the planet. You knew uh, there was just Boise State all day long, and it was an easy winner. It's, the information is generally not going to be that good, and, you know, so that's an exception. But it, it does take into philo- that the, the philosophy that the team that's there on vacation might not be your best option. And you're going to have some of those this year where you've got teams that are basically at home for their bowl game. I think these teams are going to be committed to the football game. They're probably going to have more crowd support as well, as opposed to teams that are traveling a long distance. And it's not intentional, but they're just not as sharp. Uh, I think if you, it's, it's something, if you follow that without even knowing anything about the teams, you'll probably win more games than you lose. So that's something to uh, file uh, as far as uh, what to do with the bowl games. Okay, uh, let's uh, check in with our man in the street next. Jeff Saad has a free NFL total. Jeff from LVSS. And Jeff, you're on right now. Thanks, guys. Got a free pick coming up in the NFL. But first, get the rest of the December plays from Las Vegas Sports Service and Basketball, NBA, NFL, and the bowls for $19. That includes the College Basketball Game of the Month Saturday and my NFL total of the month on Sunday. More than two weeks of action with LVSS for just $19. Call LVSS at one 866 575-8916. Free play comes the NFL Sunday as the Redskins and Falcons meet in Atlanta. What's worse than the Atlanta defense? The Washington defense. The Redskins can't stop anybody. 27th in the NFL against the pass. The last four road games, Washington has allowed 24, 34, 45, and 31 points. Throw in a 38-20 September loss at Green Bay, and this defense has been a road disaster. At least they face an equally bad defense this week in the Falcons. Bottom six against the run and the pass. This Atlanta defense faced five straight conservative offenses that allowed 30 23, 27, 34, 
43 and 41 points to the Bucks, Jets, Seahawks, and Cardinals. This game is indoors, which will help the offenses and take the rest against the Falcons over their total. Once again, get the rest of December from LVSS, the college basketball, NBA, NFL, and the Bowl is only $19. That includes the college basketball game of the month on Saturday and the NFL total of the month on Sunday. More than two weeks of action for only $19. Call LVSS at 1-866-575-8916. Okay, Jeff, thanks, and good luck this weekend, as always. Uh, well, what do you think, John? Let's go to a game. And just, talk, just, talk sure. about dis just talked about distance. Well, there isn't any here. <laughs> it's, it's a home game for both teams, Tulane and UL Lafayette in the, the New Orleans Bowl. I'm not, I don't care about the corporate sponsor. They, those change every year anyway. Uh, it's the New Orleans Bowl, and obviously it's, it's, it's a home game for both teams. This could be fun. Because in a sense, it's going to be a rivalry game. In the early bowls, uh, you, you get games like this, they're usually pretty good games to watch. John, I, I will tell you that despite the fact that you're looking at a couple of offenses that, you know, I don't know what the, and I, I can't say this is going to be a selection right now because I don't know whether Terrence Broadway is going to be able to play or not. For UL Lafayette, he got hurt. He's had some surgery. His coach says he's going to be back for the bowl game. I, I don't know. Um, We'll wait and see on that, because if he's not there, they ain't scoring any points, okay? Uh, but if Broadway's out there, they're going to score some points here. The, the, the flip side of it is Tulane, uh, much better defensively than offensively, but it's a bowl game, and this is where coaches take the wraps off and have some fun, especially in a rivalry game like this. The total in the game is not that high. I think you might have some value, and, and bear this in mind, the minor bowl games – more often than not, go over the point spread total. Uh, over the total, I should say. The reason for that is whatever's in the in the playbook, it gets used, okay? You're going to see gimmick plays, fakes, all kinds of crazy stuff out there. These are fun games with lots of scoring, even when you've got teams that are primarily defensive squads. I think that's going to be the situation here. I'll put a little caveat on this. I'm not playing it over if Broadway's not on the field. Because his backup was a disaster last week against South Alabama. But if that's if Broadway's good to go, I think I like the game over. Yeah, this is a fascinating bowl, but being right in that same city. And, you know, this Tulane team has just been a great story. Tulane was 2-10 and 10 last year under their head coach, Curtis Johnson. Well, he's in his second year, and what a great story. 7-5 and five, straight up, 9-3 and three against the spread. you got a pair of quarterbacks who've seen action. One is junior Nick Montana, the son of Joe Montana, 14 touchdowns, 9 picks. Uh, plus, they have a, a backup, too, who's helped out in Devin Powell, 5 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. And that's kind of the key with Tulane, as good as as season as they've had, the offense just hasn't been very good. They're 104th in the nation and passing 102nd or 102 in rushing the football. It's the defense that has got them here, 22nd in the nation, vastly improved, 21.2 points per game. And that offense is why they struggled down the stretch, going 0 and 3, scoring 17, 7, and 13 points in their last three games away from home. You are Lafayette, eight and three straight up, but only four and seven against the spread. They've been here before though, Dave. They won the last two uh, New Orleans Bowls. And the last year they were a dog, or I should say two years ago they were a dog to San Diego State. They won thirty two to thirty in the last year's shootout. 43 to 34 against uh, East Carolina. And of course, Broadway is w the starter if he can play because he's off that recent surgery. The freshman quarterback, Brooks Hawk, just 175 yards, one touchdown. Still, I would lead toward Lafayette, eight and three record and plenty of experience winning this game, Dave, even as a dog. All right. So there's one ball to consider. The other one, we're going to keep it right here in Las Vegas. Uh, it's, uh, but before we do that, a reminder that you can free, get free plays every day. On a text message sent directly to your phone, it's real easy. For mine, text COKIN, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131. I'll quickly mention that since March of last year, March of 2012, plus 103 games on the free plays every day. It's a lot of money, even if you put hey, 10 bucks in the game, you want a lot of money, okay? We are a $1,000 profit betting $10 a game on my free plays. So... You know, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do this. Uh, text Koken, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131. Same story with Jim. You get a free play every day, John. That's right. Free plays right to your cell phone from Jim Feist every day. Just text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. 
Okay, USC and Fresno will match up here in the Las Vegas Bowl. And USC now with yet another football coach. They started the season with the thoroughly unpopular Lane Kiffin, who gets fired at an airport. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't tell you that, uh, by the way, his dad, uh, Monty, who's the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys, I thought he was going to get fired at the airport after that performance on Monday against the Bears. Uh, but anyway, uh, Orgeron takes over. And uh, but he's out. He didn't get he didn't get the job, and I guess he was disappointed. And uh, Sarkeesian's the new head coach, but they don't they basically don't have a head coach here. It, uh, I don't. This is not a great situation for them. Fresno is the team the Las Vegas Bowl wanted. They were rooting for Fresno State to beat Utah State last weekend for a variety of reasons, but mainly you know Fresno's going to not not a knock on the folks from Logan, Utah, but Fresno's going to send a ton of people here for this game. It's going to be more their home game. Now, I I will wait because I really want to know what's taking place the week of the game here once the teams arrive. Um, it's easy to get that information, and I want to be on the team that's more serious about it. My suspicions are that's going to be Fresno State, though. I think this could be a big letdown spot for USC. You know, they accomplished quite a bit this season. And from where they were at the start of the year, with all the turmoil, to have a, a good season in the Pac-12, they did, you know, they, they didn't get there against UCLA in the rivalry game, uh, but I, I don't know that there's going to be much gas left in the tank, and I have a feeling, just a feeling, no information yet, but just a feeling that USC might kind of treat this as uh, a fun, a fun weekend in Las Vegas, whereas Fresno probably coming here a little more to play. It's the Mountain. Remember, this is the Mountain West's home game. The winner of the Mountain West Conference is the home team. In this game, I think that does matter uh, in terms of focus. So my early lean on this game is Fresno State plus the points uh, against USC. And I say that uh, if you've read my my write-ups over the years, I think Fresno State's a wildly overrated football team. I never had them even in my top 50, where USC probably a top 20 football team legitimately. But you can throw that stuff out in bowl games. It's all about the motivation. I think Fresno might have more of it here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the dog as well. I mean, there's too many concerns and changes for USC that has been a roller coaster season. Their third head coach is going to be running this game. The offensive coordinator, Clay Helton, he's going to step in and run it for the bowl game. And the new coach, Sarkeesian, made the announcement uh, that T. Martin, the receivers coach, is going to be retained next season. Well, that was the only one that he said is going to be back. So I have to wonder, are there assistant coaches on this team focused on this game or are they sending out resumes or, or worried about you know where their next job is going to be in addition you know we saw this usc team play some good games this season but boy they played some really bad games early on the last game the rivalry game against usc they really got smoked in that game and even some of the, the games against uh, the what used to be smaller conferences anyway utah state and utah you know they, they beat utah state just 17 to 14 they actually got out gained they only had 282 yards and the offense was 3 of 14 on third down. And then the game against Utah that they won still only scored 19 points and had 260 total yards and only 30 yards rushing. A lot of flaws during the season uh, for this, U this USC team. Not the case at all uh, with Fresno. No changes at all. Tim DeRuiter has done a terrific job all season long. you got the senior quarterback in Derek Carr, 48 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. They have given up points at times this year, so you have to wonder about their defense. But I like the, the comments that DeRoyter made just right recently when he said, hey, how many teams have won 12 games here? This team is really focused on proving that we're one of the best Fresno teams of all time. So there's no sidebars at all uh, going on with Fresno State. So I'm going to take them, uh, Dave, the dog in this one. Makes sense. Let's go to the best bets. And a reminder, uh, once again, that we have some great special offers this weekend. John, go ahead and let everybody know what's happening with Jim Feist this weekend, and uh, I think I know where you're going with your best bet, but I'll let you, you make got it. Official. It'll be... <laughs> It'll be the doggy here. We'll take Fresno, a barking dog. And uh, don't forget that Jim Feist has his bowl package available now. It's 199 bucks online. Or if you want to get it for the special, 29 bucks Get you the bowls right through January. And plus, if you sign up now, you get the NFL through Monday night. All this from Jim Feist for 29 bucks. one 841 1655 A quick note before I go to the uh, uh, the best bet itself. Because I meant to mention this at the top of the show. Be real. 
A lot of people bet ball games that don't bet during the course of the season. And they don't understand what value is. And they don't get it at all. And, and I, I can guarantee you, this is to file away, but I think it applies to all bowl games. If you like the underdog, that doesn't mean you bet the money line. You know, we're seeing right now on the Auburn, uh, the Auburn, uh, 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 I blanked out of the, of the chip Florida, Florida State. State, Auburn, Florida State. Jesus Christ, it's tough getting old. Auburn, Florida State. Uh, the number in the game is nine or thereabouts. And the money line is only plus 245. And I think that there's even smaller money lines than that. That's a terrible bet, okay? You, uh, and I, I know that the amateurs are going to come in. Oh, I think if they think Auburn's going to win the game, uh, they're not going to take the points. They're going to bet the money line. Jesus, don't give yourself the worst of it by taking a bad money line. It should be higher than that. It's that simple. It, and that, that leads me into this game here with Fresno and USC, which I'll use as the best bet. John, I, I agree with you. I think there's a good chance Fresno wins the game. I don't have the money line in front of me, but I can guarantee you you're going to get screwed on it. Just take the points. All right? I know it's 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 more enticing. Than, oh, look at this. I can get more than two to one for my money uh, or whatever you're going to get in this game. But if the correlation's not there, well, you're not getting what you're actually supposed to get for a money line bet. It's just a, it's a bad bet. If you get into bad habits betting, you're eventually going to lose money. There just isn't any doubt about it. That's why... Uh, what, maybe 5% of the people who bet on sports win. So get out, get away from bad habits and don't get suckered on a bad money line. USC, Fresno, Fresno plus the points is the best bet, your best bet, and I really think it is a, a your best bet right now, is to get this college bowl special that I've got every single bowl game, a play on every game, plus the college basketball count on this weekend, exclusive price here on ProLine only. Not going to find it online not going to find it any place. 25 bucks. You sign up today, I'll even throw in a high roller window game I've got tonight. So you're looking at about a $700 value here for 25 bucks, but only for those of you watching this right now. The number to call, 1-866-896-1629. That's 1-866-896-1629. That is going to do it for this bowl edition, but we'll have another one next week. And don't forget to check out the NFL edition of ProLine with Jim Feist, John Creighton, and myself. That's it, John. Any parting words? Just let's go get the money. I like it. We're done. See you later. Have a great weekend.